Welcome to Get Creative. I'm Shelley Hall and this is your creative news for the week of March 3rd, 2008. Brought to you by CreativePro.com. This week's edition is sponsored by iStockphoto, the world's preeminent collection of member-generated royalty-free images at the world's best prices. So you may have noticed that CreativePro.com looks a little different today. The newly redesigned site gives all of us creative professionals the ability to communicate with each other through blogs, community forums, and RSS feed subscriptions. And you can start with me. Just click on the word comments underneath my byline on the creativepro.com page. I want to hear from you. So in the spirit of the Creative Pro redesign, I'm making a few changes to get creative. First, I'm including how-tos. We all love tips and tricks. This new part of Get Creative is called Master in a Minute. I'll also do special segments on software and industry events. And now the debut of Master in a Minute. Did you know that you can create and save styles to apply to objects in Photoshop just like you can do in InDesign? Let's go see how this works. I'm going to select to create a new Photoshop file. It's 2 inches by 2 inches. Select OK. I'm going to go ahead and grab my Polygon Shape tool and I'm going to drag out a shape. And this kind of looks like one of those outlines for a seal that might be on a certificate. I'm going to go ahead and change my opacity here. Now all I have to do is choose my blending options. I've got style shave saved right here. I'm going to select and apply a style and look at that and I can reuse this over and over again. I'm going to go now and create a new layer. Let's go ahead and add a little bit of a highlight to the top of this image. I'm going to go ahead and fill and let's go ahead and fill this with white and give it a about a 30 opacity. Select OK. And now I have my little highlight right up at the top. And we've just created a web badge that you can use for your website. So that was our very first master in a minute. Just wanted to let all you iToner users out there know that Ambrosia has finally released an update to iToner that is compatible with the latest iPhone OS 1.1.3. Version 1.0.6 took quite a bit longer than I had hoped, but better late than never, I now have all of my favorite ringtones back. I recently ran across a blog maintained by the folks at Extensus. Industry vet Chuck Wager, affectionately known as Game Show Chuck, has created some excellent video tutorials on suitcase fusion and font management in general. You can check them out at blog.extensus.com. So some of the page layout classes that I teach focus on long document features. When I teach my classes, I like to import text into my documents rather than using the fill with placeholder text feature. At www.lipsum.com, you can get all the lorem ipsum text that you need by simply specifying how many paragraphs, words, bytes, or lists that you would like created for your placeholder text. The text is generated right within your browser. Simply copy and save it to a text editor and import as needed. So here we are at lipsum.com, the lorem ipsum generator website. Let's take a look at how this works. So I'm going to have five paragraphs that I'd like to select and it says start with lorem ipsum. Let's go ahead and generate. Look at that, that quickly. And then I can simply copy, paste it in a text editor program such as text edit. Let's go ahead and open up a new window, paste it, do a file save as. Let's save it to my desktop and this is text. And that's all there is to it. Do a little import into InDesign or Quark Express, and I am good to go. 
Set your calendar for the upcoming IPA Technical Conference in Chicago, April 21st through the 24th. This is a landmark conference for the IPA, which heavily focuses on creative workflows. There will be a pre-conference event on Monday evening, April 21st, by the IPA Community Action Network, I can, partnering with the big brother and big sisters of Chicago to pull off a one-of-a-kind cross-media marketing campaign which is poised to be pretty darn spectacular. So if you're coming to the Windy City for the conference, put the I can event on your list of to-dos for that Monday evening. So that's all the creative news I have for the week of March 3rd, 2008. Special thanks to this week's sponsor, I Stock. Photo. You can browse all of our Get Creative videos at the new and improved CreativePro.com. This is Shelly Hall with Get Creative. Take care.